Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I've wondered? I've wondered, what does Joe Rogan think about Steven Seagal? Does he think that Steven Seagal is a legitimate martial artist? Let's, uh, let's, let's look into that. Oh, wait, oh, wow, I found a video that talks about that exact thing. Let's check it out. So there's very, very few fake jiu-jitsu black belts, but occasionally there are some, and they get outed, and there's some hilarious videos online of guys well, getting busted. Well, where does Steven Seagal fall on that line? Where does Steven Seagal fall on that line? He is a legitimate Aikido black belt. In fact, he Well, I'm very glad to hear that Steven Seagal is an actual black belt. That means he can protect us. He can protect us from the villains and the bad guys. The world is full of villains and bad guys, and as long as Steven Seagal is around, we'll stay safe from them. Plus, Steven Seagal isn't like a racist. Racist people are bad, and it's better to avoid them. Steven Seagal is not a Ku Klux Klan member. Steven Seagal did not own slaves. And Joe Rogan did not own slaves either. Anyway, here's a video of Danny DeVito. So I found a video of Danny DeVito at the Oscars, so that's what we're gonna watch. Look at everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Uh, yeah, look at everybody. And then look at everybody acting weird and trying to act proper for the camera. It's very cool. Very nice. <laughs> well, Arnold and I are presenting tonight together for a very obvious reason. We both tried to kill Batman. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't know that either of them had been in Batman movies. It's very exciting. Good for them, I guess. We're going to try I, I, as the penguin in Batman Returns. And that was Mr. Freeze in Batman and Robin. Yeah. Mr. Freeze. Oh, wow, what a nice home Mr. Freeze has. I wish I had an apartment that was as nice as Mr. Freeze's apartment. He's also got that nice little outfit with that blue top and those black pants. Very stylish. That's very, all very cool. I guess I'm very impressed. Honey! What? Where's my super suit? What? Where is my super suit? Uh Sometimes I wish I had a super suit, but I do not have one. The only person I can blame is God, I guess. God and myself. Super suits are gay anyways. Hey! Where? Why do you need to know? I need it! Uh-uh! Don't you think about running off to doing no daring do? We've been planning this dinner for two months! The public is in danger! My evening's in danger! He needs to save people, but she wants him to go to the dinner. It's a classic everyone else's life or dinner type situation. He can save people because he has a super suit. I don't have a super suit, but it's okay because super suits are gay. Just to reiterate what I said earlier. I'm not being homophobic, by the way. You tell me what my suit is, woman! We are talking about the greater good! Greater good? I am your wife! I'm the greatest good you are ever gonna get! Wow, I can't wait for April 12th. On April 12th, I'm gonna buy myself a super suit. Don't get jealous. It's not cool anyway. It's gay to have a super suit. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Unless you think it's a sin or whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I, I do daily uploads, so it's, it's, you know, it's a good thing to subscribe. Okay, thank you. The end. How did Batman beat you? Oh, he used... Uh, my one weakness against me. Heat. Love. Oh. <laughs> he threw me out a window. Uh, yeah, really? Yeah, he's really. Batman, that son of a bitch. Where is he? Yeah. Uh, 
heat. No, my weakness is love. Oh. That joke went, went great. Okay, the end again. That was just kind of an encore. Alright, thanks. If you made it this far, comment potato. Okay, there you go.